that one bullshit PlayStation trophy. The Bronze Who Let the Dogs Out trophy in the House of the Dead remake on PS4 is definitely the most annoying trophy for me when going for the Platinum, as it requires you to knock back the Ken fees. So I played House of the Dead 1 and 2 back in the day in the arcades and on the Saturn and the Dreamcast, but I wasn't that big of a fan of the games that I knew all the enemy names off by heart, so my first challenge with this was just to identify the enemy that it's on about, so just what exactly is a Kenfi and how do you knock them back to get the trophy? So as I entered the House of the Dead and played through the game, this trophy was always in the back of my mind, just wondering what it actually was. And as soon as you enter the mansion at the start of level 1, you're instantly greeted by these two fellas that jump and lunge at you, so I immediately thought that these were the Kenfis, as every time you encounter them, they always attack you in pairs, so there's always two of them to knock them back, and when you shoot them as they lunge, they do get knocked back, so surely it's these guys, right? Hmm, well the trophy didn't pop. Now, it's not them at all. Okay, well, how about this point here? So, this guy up here is jumping through the window. What about him? I bet if I shot him, I'd knock him back, right? Yes, that's it. Of course, it's gotta be that one. See you later, pal. And there's a trophy. Oh, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Ringo. Ugh, oh, that's not the one either, then. Fuck's sake. What are these Kenfies? So, a bit later on, I eventually find another guy who jumps down in twos. And I tried to knock them back, but that didn't really work. So, no, it's not those either. Now, as you blast your way through the House of the Dead, you'll often find that enemies jump out at you or drop down from the ceiling above to try and kill you. And when you shoot them, like you can see here, you do knock them backwards. However, the trophy still doesn't pop on those enemies. And even when you get into the lab at the end of the game and you fight those, like, robot enemies that sort of lunge forward and you knock them back, the trophy still doesn't pop for knocking those back. Ah, and then there's even the spiders that I thought the Kenfi might have been because there's two on the ceiling that drop down at you. And again, you shoot them and knock them away. But the trophy still doesn't pop with those. Ah, oh, this is just bullshit. What the fuck is a Kenfi? And how do I knock it back? This is so stupid. The game should tell me what the enemies are called. How the fuck am I supposed to know? What happened? Why don't you follow my instructions? Follow your instructions, oh, okay game. Well let's look at the trophy again, shall we? Who let the dogs out, not back the Kenfies? Wait, wait a minute. Who let the dogs out? Are the dogs in this game? Okay, let's have a look in the gallery, because we can see all the enemies that I've killed, and it'll tell me. So let's try and find the Kenfi in here. So, after looking in here, eventually I found the Kenfi. Here it was, just there on its own, and what do you know, it's a fucking dog with wings. So it is a fucking dog? So the trophy, who let the dogs out, actually tells you? Oh my god, what an idiot I am. It's a fucking dog, of course it is. Fuck's sake, but, but wait a minute. I've played through the game several times now, and where the fuck are the dogs? I don't even think I even saw any throughout the whole four chapters. What the fuck? I mean, I know there's multiple routes through each level, but damn, I think I've been through most of them, and I don't remember seeing dogs. Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I'm getting a flashback here. Yeah, that's right. There is dogs. Right at the very start of the game, before you get into the House of the Dead. Two jump over a wall, and then there's like one that's in front of the fountain before that woman gets taken away. Rogan. So in the entire game, I believe there are five dogs in total, with two you, pairs of two that come at you in the first chapter alone, and I don't think you ever see them again in any other level. There's the two at the start over that wall, and then there's some that jump over some debris that you can smash to go up some stairs, but the easiest way to try and get this trophy is to just reload the first level and try it at the very start on those two that come over the wall. But the problem is, trying to hit them with a fucking pistol and actually do enough damage quick enough to knock them back is a bit of a pain because, well, they don't know backwards with the pistol because the pistol just isn't powerful enough. 
and I tried it a couple of times but yeah even if you hit the one you haven't got enough time to then hit the other one before it lands and I think the whole point of the trophy is to knock them backwards to send them back over the wall where they came from so I'm afraid the pistol just ain't gonna cut it so I'm gonna have to come back into this level with a different kind of weapon but that meant I had to play through the game once more, saving every single scientist to unlock the secret room in the final level, which then unlocked the armory to allow me to then unlock every weapon by playing through the game again and shooting all the containers. Jesus Christ. But hey, we've done it now, so let's try the crossbow. Alright, well, this is a good weapon, but my god is it so slow to fire. There's no chance in hell that I'm going to be able to knock two of the dogs back with this weapon. So let's try the pitter, which is kind of like a vampire stake uh, rifle. Okay, let's see what this bad boy can do then. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> My god, if ever there was a weapon that was powerful enough to knock an enemy back, it's gotta be this one, surely. Surely this is how you get the trophy. I've just gotta hit a single dot with this. Ah, and that is where the problem lies, because this weapon, try as I might, I could just not nail either of the dogs as they jumped over the wall, and I tried several times before giving up, and I would have loved to have seen it, but I just wasn't good enough to get that shaft. So unfortunately, the pitter weapon wasn't going to cut the mustard for this trophy, and I was vastly running out of weapons now with only two left. So I figured maybe a weapon that can fire faster would do better, so I picked the assault rifle as my next weapon of choice to try this trophy with, and I was feeling confident going into it as it would spray a lot of bullets, but as soon as they jumped over the wall, I realised that this weapon just wasn't powerful enough to knock the dogs back. And even though I hit the one, it didn't even really affect him, other than taking his wings off, he still jumped forwards, and didn't get knocked backwards. So, my last attempt was with the grenade launcher. Now surely, this is powerful enough to send anything flying backwards when it gets hit by it. So yeah, the grenade launcher is the weapon that you need to use when going for the Who Let The Dogs Out trophy, because it is powerful enough to blast anything to smithereens, and send things flying backwards. But the problem with the Who Let The Dogs Out trophy is that it's just a really finicky and awkward one to try and unlock because you've got to kind of get the sweet spot on the wall with the grenade, otherwise you'll just explode the dogs completely or miss them or not send them back over the wall. So it's just a bit of a tedious and annoying one to try and get it right in order to unlock the trophy. And when I did it, I actually only only pushed one of the dogs back over the wall the other one still got over so i think that was kind of bullshit and how it actually unlocked which you'll see here in this next clip so yeah while it's not a particularly hard and taxing and grindy trophy to try and get it is a bit of a frustrating one because you've got to get that sweet spot on the wall with the nade otherwise it just won't work so yeah, there are more annoying ones in the game, but this one for me was the most bullshit one to unlock because it just took me so many different attempts and it's one that you can only really get once you've unlocked all the weapons. So you, it's a waste of time trying to do it with the pistol because it just won't work. Everything so once so you've got all the weapons unlocked and maybe the cheats for infinite ammo, try it then, otherwise it will be a pain. And that is why you get a bullshit trophy rating of... All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, shit! Shit! No. shit.